So, shut up. Last morning here, and we are just going to have a look at the uh, viewpoints. Huh. I mean, it's a little bit of a hike up here. I am dripping my absolute socks off. But yeah, we're leaving about 45 minutes. Oh, good Lord. But yeah, I didn't know these viewpoints existed until we met those uh, two American girls on the boat trip. Yeah, they said they came up here. And they were like, yeah, go, it's definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. So, last morning, hiking up, a little bit out of breath, Whew, sweaty, I need another shower. I'm about to get on a plane. That's not good. And here's viewpoint. And now it's the long walk down these stairs. back than it was going. That was pandemonium to get the bags. Like every single time we've taken a ferry, you get on and the guys take the bag off you and they just stack them up at the back of the boat or wherever and then coming off at the end trying to get it. It's just, it's just, it's hell. It's mental. I always watch where they put my bag so I see it and I know where to go and I put my little my little red rucksack I stuck it into the front of it so it's easier to see because otherwise it's just a black bag with a thousand other black bags. I'm still waiting for Ellen. I had no idea where she managed to on the boat. So yeah, just chilling, chilling in the shade and then we're off to the airport. Bangkok, next stop. So now, nice and easy, we're going to get the train uh, to where we're staying. We know exactly what we're doing because this is how we left Bangkok like three weeks ago. So yeah, rather than get a taxi and get fleeced, get on the train, get to the hotel, um, and then yeah, probably to go out to get something very cheap to eat. We're literally down to our last like a few hundred baht, which will be enough to get the train to the hotel, the train tomorrow morning at like 6.30. Ugh. And yeah, some food here, which we know costs, you can get like 40 baht. So I think we're gonna try and go to the very first place we went to get food on our very first day here, which it was really good. So I think we're gonna go there um, go there tonight maybe for some food and then yeah kick ass early flight well half nine flight I think we get in the train at like half six oh which would be hell but what's he doing <laughs> he was going the wrong way kid to be kids all right this is a hell of a long way to baggage claim and I've lost Ellen again I don't know how she does it. Nailed it. Oh, I'm stuffed. 
we just had some food at that um, little cafe where we ate when the first time we were here. Whittled down my money, really, really good. I literally have 120 baht left. Oh, I'm gutted. I passed a couple of barbers here, <laughs> but they're 200 baht. I'm like 60 shot. <coughs> I'm fine. Uh, I would have totally got a fucking haircut on the last night. Like, it's long now and just completely just fucking wild. I mean, I can't really do much with that. This little kid is loving life. That's what it was. <laughs> Downtown night market. I never walked around that last time we were here, so I'm pretty glad that I came out for a little a little wonder before catching some Z's before our like six o'clock wake up tomorrow. <laughs> See, being back here in Bangkok. I know it's only for one night and we haven't actually like haven't gone anywhere. We've literally just straight to the hotel and then got some food. But yeah, I, I remember first time we got here and I thought it was absolutely just mental. Absolute madness. People trying to cross the road where they shouldn't be. Um, yeah, truck trucks everywhere, bikes everywhere, lights, people. Well, I think after everywhere we've been, I think especially Vietnam, in like Hoi An, it was crazy busy. Now this is fine, but my God, I can definitely tell a difference in the air quality here. It's just so polluted. I am on the lookout for oh, something like that. Of I don't know if you can see it. Uh, hang on. You see that? I love this. That classic picture of the Beatles crossing Abbey Road. But with... I'm getting to like... The rock band, like the game rock band logo. That's funny. So hard to get out of there. When you're in, you're trapped here. But... I came out weird. This. Oh. You see it? Singer. Happy with this, and I literally have like 26, 27 baht left and coins. Um, I've got my 40 I need for tomorrow. Done. <coughs> so, I did see a guy begging down here. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to give him. Whoa, give him the rest of my coins. And then I am done. Last good deed. That guy just there. I think he'd lost a leg and something funky was going on with his foot. So, I don't know, got a last little bit of my change. Hopefully he will spend it wisely. This is our fancy pool, but I didn't go in last time. I thought it was shut. I thought it closes at eight. It's like 20 to nine. I am gonna find out and I might have a swim before bed. Closes at nine in 20. A three minutes. Do I do it? Can I do it? Hmm. Doing it. Shorts on. Robe. Fancy robe. Towels downstairs. Lift. Woo. Eleven. Close. Let's go. And with 14 minutes to spare, I'm going in. Ugh, fancy. Ah. Uh -huh. That was fit. Am I in focus? Oh, I think just my eyes are playing up. That was nice. Although I had to leave early because I need a toilet. My insides 
My insides are wrecked. I'm pretty sure that I've got IBS. Oh, and hurry up. I think it's all the different food I've tried here, I think it's just more the fact that it's just not clean. Like the amount of flies that land on food, like unprepared food that I've seen, like in restaurants when they have all like the fresh fish out with just ice. Um, yeah, I mean, they're swatting the flies away, not doing anything. And pretty much oh, the first day, three weeks ago, here in Bangkok, just haven't been solid. Let's just put it that way. I'm so looking forward to having some. Oh, hey. Just some normal food you want to get home and get solid. But how fancy is this robe? I feel it's kind of, kind of Japanese-esque with the short arms. Love it. <sighs> Morning. It is. Yeah, six. Six twenty-five in the morning. Ellen's in shower. I am turn off. Turn off. I'm packed. I've just got to <clears throat> throw my hat in my bag, and then done. We're off to the airport. I'm actually really excited. I'm actually really excited to go home. I've had an amazing uh, three months away. Five weeks travel, five weeks working in Adelaide, and then just under, yeah, about two months traveling around Australia, New Zealand, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia. It's just absolutely been an epic adventure. It really, really has. People I've met, things I've done, things I've seen. It's Oh, I love it. I love. I live for this. It has been absolutely just. It's been awesome. But I am looking forward to going home, seeing my family, seeing my friends, catching up with everything that I've missed. It's gonna be good. Can't wait. But it's been a long. It's gonna be a long, long ass trip back. But I can't believe in two weeks I'm getting it on a plane to Germany. I mean, it's only Germany. <coughs> Oh, only in Germany, so not too far. But yeah, that would have been, that's going to make seven countries in five months. Mental. Yeah. Made it. Ooh. Made it through immigration, border control, we're done. I just went to the toilet, he's having fun, and I'm about to get some moisturiser. Oh. Today's flight is sponsored by... Biotherm. 72 hour aqua power. Oops. Should do me till I get back. Ooh, feels good. <laughs> Look like shit, I feel good though. Right, now to the gate. And breakfast. I'm so hungry. This is it. Penultimate flight home. Oh. I'm actually just really looking forward to getting some breakfast. I am famished. Got an aisle. I'm actually glad I've got an aisle. <laughs> because the way my bowels are going, I'm going to need to keep getting up. Oh. There she is. Bye bye, Thailand. He's having fun. Yeah, I think we're about five hours in. Uh, not so bad. Pretty cold. Got the old blanket going. Probably a bad idea to wear this little vest. Oh, there's a nibble. Yeah, not too far from Dubai. But I am in deep. Four movies. Two beers. Two whiskey coke. It's Johnny Walker. Really, really peaty. Uh... Oh, we're being 
London and I am shattered. It's about one o'clock in the morning for me. Oh, but we're back in England. Oh, this is the last time picking up my bag. And then I think I should have some people waiting for me through border control.